Hello everyone, in today's video I'm gonna continue from where we left last time and uh, solving the final exam for Revit. This is the sixth video and uh, in it I would like to continue from you know solving things that uh, we did not uh, achieve yet out of the questions. And I just get my eyes on the number 16 that's saying that to have to design a one shaded perspective and then when make an entry camera looking to this from actually southwest toward tower. So what is the differences in, 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 in having a perspective view and in having a 3D view based on a camera? Let's have a back that let's go back to the rivet and we notice that usually when you open your 3D view you're gonna have just 3D between two brackets. You don't have those three. I just created them after I finish the videos just to have some demonstration for the for the YouTube thumbnail. So you have just this one and when this what did is actually if you zoomed in it's just a temporary as long as it have two brackets it's just temporarily unsaved uh, view and if I just decided to see uh, this exactly at that corner you know at the head of the triangle and now if I hit save this is again a temporary view so when I close the file and I open it again nothing ever will be stored out of this specific view I just close the file even the thumbnail showing that the last thing I was looking at the head of the triangle if I look back to it and open the file itself this will not be you know existed it, it isn't it exists it's just reset it back the default 3d view and the reason is that this is you know just a uh, temporary uh, 3d view that uh, as whatever you, sh you, sh you save and change it won't uh, kept forever it will be just reset so if I just rename that that's the first step to the solution if I name that perspective you know and then I saved this issue again back to the same thing. I'm just going back to the head of the triangle, zooming in. Let's go that way. I know I'm seeing part of the geometry, but the whole thing will be shown. And I save. This is again the first part of solving the issue. Now, Rivet recognized that you want this view, but again, it won't be saved. So if I close this dude again, again, that's the thumbnail, open it again. And you're going to see nothing saved again. <laughs> That's what it's actually have to do. And the reason is this is it's, it's identified that you want and you prepare the view for a specific set of, you know, display for a perspective, not a camera yet. But in reality, you really need to come here right a click create sheet so I'm gonna just temporarily create a sheet that's the sheet I'm coming back to the perspective I'm gonna change you know zoom in having looking at this view exactly back to the sheet open it and you know drag and drop when you do that you technically now let me drop that and then uh, just simply double click inside and change the scale to 1 to 500 for example I'm gonna come back to work with uh, double click outside how to work with uh, sheets in, in more details but have a look now you have the perspective fixed if I hit save you know it's gonna restore the information it's gonna save the information it's gonna save the view as long as it's saved on the you know on the sheet if you hit 3d again default 3d view another 3d view will be created based on a hidden shade and uh, this guy should be kept forever now close this guy as you see now and when I open it again I'm just saying yes to save my change now when I open it again it should store the perspective of you when you look at the head of the triangle so again, and uh, of course the, the sheet will be, you know, the one who actually participate in fixing it. That's the one of the one of the method that I use to fix the perspective view. As you can see, that's the 3D view. 
and that's the perspective that we kept you're looking at the head of the triangle so that's the first that's the first step to achieve you know gaining shots like this one it's a perspective of view we did by that answering this specific part of the exam is to design a, a shaded view so now that's been understood what is the camera now that's the second part we need to have a look at it which is uh, uh, I'm gonna go uh, to level one back to the question and it's look like we're looking from southwest uh, south uh, east toward the tower so camera is another method and it have a different way to create the 3d you know 3d image uh, it is actually much more realistic from the perspective and you're gonna see it's uh, really awesome so uh, that's the camera and the way you create the time you create it you will see a different way of naming this is 3d view I can just rename it again uh, south east and again this is uh, saved so it's automatically saved as the camera is existed and if you save it and open it again uh, it should be stored uh, it, it doesn't go it doesn't need to be placed on doesn't need to be placed as far as I remember it doesn't need to be placed on a sheet in order to be fixed uh, it is fixed no I wish it is <laughs> now yeah I'm sure I was joking so you see now as long as you create the camera you see the camera is there and it's, it's going to be fixed forever and uh, whenever you want to see the camera you go to the level one you see now the camera because when you click it's going to just disappear so you just go to the camera you want and right click show camera if you want to see it again and just make that move in order you know to see the whole uh, the whole camera move so I'm gonna just tile those views this dude and this guy here you can anytime you just move that you know and you get this you know shift and move with it uh, of course depend on how fast the machine and the VGA mode and the display mode you got how fast it's gonna take to you know regenerate the whole tower again so now we manage technically to create all required you know this 3d camera and the perspective 3d view now uh, technically that's uh, 14 and uh, 16 is actually being uh, answered so uh, we really need now to uh, have a look at uh, how to make south elevation shaded and a copy of it as a hidden elevation that's okay and put them on the same of the same same sheet it's very easy question uh, just targeting to measure guys if you know that uh, which is south isn't it um, mm -hmm. yes yeah, south. to measure guys if you know how to duplicate the view so I'm gonna close the 3d views I'm gonna keep the south elevation so we need one south elevation like this and guys you always have to you know pay attention to the location of those grids they shouldn't at any time at all located inside you know the shouldn't locate them inside the the, the body of the elevation I think that I are group so I'm gonna edit the group select this dude and push it outward uh, let's just you know pretend they are here and then you finish and you're supposed to get the whole things finished again same thing on the end or at the far end it should be pushed outside and you gotta repeat that for editing the group and then you move that to the edge come on Make sure like you don't do this mistake that I've done and change it into 2D. I just keep that in 3D. Otherwise it affect itself only, not the whole thing. So that's the that's the south elevation. 
uh, ready uh, let's have a look of what we have in here so we have one of them just have those you know uh, that type of shading in here which is hidden the graphic display option here is hidden uh, any uh, any particular shading on it no no shading while the other guy is have different method of shading he's shaded so the whole thing is to test the ability of you to just go ahead and make duplicate with detail so you keep the detail with you and then just uh, you just rename that and you call it shaded and then come here change that to shaded and just add shadow you know if if if, if it's have any effect on the on the building so that's a, that's an easy that's an easy part of the exam is you can do it in a couple of uh, second guys just to test again your ability to create uh, a hidden uh, graphic display and the shaded with it with a shadow on and off for both of them sorry for uh, one of them uh, now the last or actually the one before the last here is how we make a 2d another type of 2d view this is uh, the site and how we can make it shade with the shade and shadow uh just go to side let's have a look that's the side let's see how it's going and just go ahead shaded that's so easy and then again shadow on that's the thing here that's what we want it's ready now and the final thing is uh is to go to the to the color plan so which plan we have let's see uh, is how we make a color cut plan red at level 20 so I'm gonna go to level 20 here and in the plan uh, I can see that the question goes and you know just uh, randomly I just place walls so I can just do the same and I will go here and then uh, add uh, partitions uh, I don't know if we placed any any yeah there is partition 90 mil okay at level 20 okay so walls and we go from here and we picked uh, 90 mil as far as I remember here and I'm just gonna draw randomly some walls just maybe two or three of them just for the sake of because in the exam I did not provide any exact detail so those are my walls so I just need to make sure that they are all placed in level 20 and attached to you know level 21 you see here I see levels because they are not floors so I can choose and hit apply and probably in the 3d you might need to choose the slab so the wall does not overlap with the slab so where are we here just go ahead and that's annoying I'm sure I just selected them yep so those guys filter those remove the floors now attach to this guy that's better so this is the you know that's the partitions now if I go to back to level 2, how we make them a solid cut with a specific color, again it's VV, visibility graphic, override, go to walls, and in the walls, cut pattern, I'm just gonna, you know, click on that and change to solid with the color you want, alright, so that's all, as you can see. Now that's red, that's red, that's what we wanted, and that's what actually required here. I don't know for some reason it's a black, but anyway, it's saying a cut plan to be set at level 20 to red. Anyway, so that guys will solve, uh, you know, uh, that guys will solve, uh, you know, the the ability to create a 3D view based on perspective and also the, the camera view 
and how we create that's a three the two types of you know 3d view and then we jumped into 2d view whether they are elevation with a different graphic style or the top view for the entire building and we call it side and how it can be shown with the shade and shadow and the final thing how we change the display of a specific 2d view to make the red to make the cut wall to be shown as solid red anyway thank you very much guys i wish that you find this video useful Thank you and bye-bye.